Hi kids, welcome to our science revision class of today. How do you do? Today I'm going to talk about keeping our body healthy. Keeping our body healthy. Now turn your science book to page 15 and let's start. Here we are, keeping our body healthy. Let us keep our body healthy. We can study, play, and work better in school if we eat a good breakfast. When you eat a good breakfast, it keeps you healthy. You can study, play, and work better in school. And here are some good breakfasts. The exercise said, color the food that are good for breakfast. So all you need to do is take your color pencil and start. Example we have bread. Bread is a very good breakfast. We have milk, we have egg, and banana. They are a very good breakfast. You take your colors and start. When we eat a good breakfast, we can play, study, and work better in school. And here's a picture of children play in school. They can play because they eat good breakfast. That makes them healthy and strong. Here's a picture of a good breakfast. We have the bread, juice, we have the egg and milk. We have fruit and cereal. This is a very good breakfast. Remember, when you eat a good breakfast, it makes you healthy. It makes you want to study and play and work better in school. Now turn your book to page 16 in your science book. It says, there are many things we can use to keep our body clean and healthy. There are many things we can use to keep our body clean and healthy. And here there's an exercise that color the object. Here are different objects we can use to keep our body clean and healthy. We have a toothpaste, toothbrush, we have soap, we have comb, towel, we have the nail cutter, we have powder. So color the object that can be used to keep our body clean and healthy. Okay guys, now you know how to keep our body clean and healthy by eating a good breakfast. Okay, and now we're going to the next topic, which is kind of animals, kinds of animals. Now turn your science book with me to page 18. Here we are, kinds of animals. There are animals that stay in the farm. These animals are called farm animals. Farm animals. Here in the picture, you can see we have some farm animals here. We have dog, sheep, horse, cow, and hen. These are farm animals. Okay. And if you go to the next page, page 19, it says, these are zoo animals. Have you gone to the zoo before? Animals are in the zoo. They are called zoo animals. Examples are tiger, bear, crocodile, rhino, monkey, snake, and kangaroo. These are zoo animals. Okay, guys, 
let's listen to some song about farm animals. Are you ready? Let's go. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some chicks. E-I-E-I-O. You're a chick chick, you're in a chick chick there. You're a chick there, chick everywhere, chick chick. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some ducks. E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack, you're in a quack quack there. You're a quack there, a quack everywhere, a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. and the zoo animals. Okay, we've come to the end of today's revision class. I hope I'll see you next time for now. Goodbye.